I get rid of stuff like old computers, appliances, or old paint? Why is there always construction happening in our street? How do I report something that needs to be fixed? What does public works do? Yeah, so, I mean, I think when people think of public works, they think of two things, right? So they think about trash pickup, and they think about potholes. And while those are things that we do, it's not all that we do here at Public Works. We actually maintain over 40 buildings in the city. We maintain uh, just over 100 parks and green spaces. And there's about 19,000 trees that we maintain in our urban forest. We'll do repairs to sidewalks. We'll do repairs to streets. Uh, we'll also clear those streets of snow when it snows out. So we're in charge of most of those snow operations. About 125 miles of streets that we clear, 23 miles of sidewalk. As far as street cleaning goes, that's all done through Public Works. We, uh, we actually clean all city streets once a month from the months of April through December. But beyond that, uh, we have other programs where we have hand crews that are in our city squares seven days a week. Uh, we have a power washing crew and a graffiti removal crew which will go around and they remove graffiti not just from public uh, property but also from private property. There is some forms that we have to fill out with that. Uh, and then there's power washing that happens. We also, as part of that program, we uh, work closely with the Inspectional Services Department on rodent control. So if there are rodent issues in various parts of the city, we'll help out to try to alleviate that problem. Why is there always so much construction happening in Cambridge? Well, the city has a dedication to making sure that we clean up the Charles River the Ch and the Alwife Brook, and part of that has to do with sewer separation and stormwater management. So a lot of the work that you see, it stems from those projects, but the goal is to not just do stormwater and sewer separation, it's really to bring the street, the roadway, the sidewalks, new lighting, new utilities back up to where they need to be. We're, we're trying to get a more beautiful city, and sometimes it, that's a little bit painful. Some of my friends have compost picked up at their house. When will I? All right, well, don't be jealous. Compost collection at the curbside is coming your way. So if your friend it probably lives in the northern part of the city, several years ago we started a pilot uh, project with about five or 600 houses in what we call the Monday route. Uh, and we wanted to make sure we could be successful at picking up curbside composting. That was successful. Last year we expanded it to all of that Monday route and we're hoping by spring of 2018 we are going to go citywide with that program. So look forward to getting your green bin. How can I help cut back on what Cambridge throws away? Uh, I think the way that you can help is really by understanding what's in your trash. So as we've been putting out new programs such as our composting program, we've done uh, waste studies and waste studies are essentially we go to random bags of trash, we look at what's still in the trash. And when we look at that trash, we found that, uh, surprisingly, only 20% of that trash is actually trash that needs to get thrown out. The rest of it is some type of recycling material. So we found that what is still left in that trash is 30% compost. So when you get that little green bin, you want to make sure that you get all of your organics out, all your food waste out, and get it into that green bin. And 25% of that is actually curbside recycling that we do right now. And that's mostly bottles and cans and paper. And a saying that we have here and a saying that we've had citywide is if, if it rips, recycle. How do I get rid of the old computers, uh, appliances? Uh, that would be great. Okay, well interestingly enough, all of those things that you just mentioned can actually be recycled at the curb. So if you have an old appliance or a large electronic, um, you know, like a, a, a large TV, or paint, we will pick it up at the curb. Now, if it's a large uh, electronic or if it's a large appliance, you'll have to call ahead of time, make, schedule that pickup, and there's a small fee for picking that up. If it's paint and it's latex paint, which is a water-based paint, you should open that paint can, let it dry out, and you can actually dispose of that with your regular trash. Now, if it is not latex paint, it's an oil-based paint or some other type of solvent, we have a household hazardous waste event that we hold four times a year, twice in the east part of the city, twice in the west part of the city. So look for those events, store those things properly in your home, and we can take it then. The other great thing is when you need to get rid of materials and you're not sure what to do, check our website at uh, www.cambridgema.gov backslash the works. Get onto our recycling page. We have a section there that says get rid of it right. There is an abundance of information for a variety of products and we'll tell you how to get rid of it right. How can I get trees planted on my street? Yeah, so it's a great question. You know, at Public Works, we're really trying to grow our urban forest 
and increase that canopy. So there's several ways for you to get a tree planted on your street. If we're doing construction in your neighborhood, we'll be looking at several places where we can place trees along the sidewalk. If there's no location for us to do that, we'll reach out to you and if you have a, you know, if you have a yard that can take a tree, we'll do a back of sidewalk planting uh, where the city will actually plant the tree on your property. We'll maintain it for a short period of time and then eventually that will become your tree to maintain. How do I report something that needs to be fixed? All right, so keep in mind, we here at Public Works never go to sleep. So we have someone on 24 seven. Uh, so if you really have an emergency, I would say call our number 617-349-4800. But if it is a typical problem, there's a great app that you can download. It's called Commonwealth Connect, and it's a way for you to report common problems such as lights out, graffiti, rodent sightings. Uh, it's a way for us to get that information quickly out to our crews so they can efficiently take care of that problem.